like pigeons in Central Park, huh? Looking for tidbits? Oh, what? <laughs> Uh, better before today, but uh, we had a bad day today. Uh, I think the guys were tired. They felt sorry for themselves. Defense did a nice job today. A couple turnovers, but I didn't like the way we responded. Same thing happened in the spring, and so I kind of don't evaluate it till see what happens the next day. We come back raw and then see what they come back with, trying to build some leadership. But they've been pretty good all the way through. Just today was a, a down day. How can you tell the guys are feeling sorry for themselves? They didn't like getting yelled at. <laughs> You know, that way, just, you know, at least they knew. They didn't come out with any juice, and uh, um, and so, sometimes that happens. You gotta, and it's going to happen if you play 12 games, and uh, we got to find a way. Got to take care of the ball better. There was a couple turnovers, but um, um, the guys have been fighting. It's been a really good camp. It's, it's, it's been a real good camp. What do you expect to, uh, among the players to kind of lead them out of that malaise if there is that sort of thing? Me. You know, like I told him today, I can only get you on the sideline. All right, the quarterback's got to take control. Casey got to be better. Chubba wasn't those two guys I got on today a little bit. They're the guy in the huddle that speaks where 10 other guys listen. So their conviction and everything else. So, um, but you're going to have those things. I said we got 12 games. I, I'd like to think we're going to we could win them all, but you're going to have some some bumps in the road, and then you got to learn from. We did this spring, so I think all the guys. Travis has been been a leader, and we got some new faces. So. Um, you know, but I like where we're heading overall. Is there a sense of when you might get turned or back? Ah, uh, that's just in the whatever the medical people say. I don't even, I don't even. I've been a head coach and don't ever. I didn't. I might have gone to Brown, but I didn't major in science, so I don't have. Any, I'm not making any doctors, uh, that, you know, decisions. I don't. You know, it's like I don't. It's football. You know, it's like. Hey, the, the the safety of our players is is number one. I you know. The no, well, it's going to happen during the season. You're not going to have all five guys all the way through. So we're building some depth on that. So that's that's the positive with it. When somebody's out, same we had some got more guys nicked and they were tired, but at other positions. But yeah, with that when he's back, he's back and he'll be ready to go. And he's shown enough as a guy that's played before. So not worried about about him that way. Scott Scott the other day said it was Casey. Well, yeah, I mean, he's got experience. He's played, you know, at, at Texas, and he's done a really good job, you know. And then yesterday we gave Chubba a lot more reps. He did a good job, and I was a little disappointed he didn't come back better today. And then, uh, you know, you need two, and Logan's the third right now, and he's he's gotten a lot better, and you know, got experience in this day, you know. Guys just get hurt, hurt more. The game's faster, and uh, you know you don't want anybody to get hurt, especially the quarterbacks. But you know that would be the way. You know Casey's getting one rep. Chubb is getting a lot of. They're splitting the one reps, and uh, um, you know in situations and things like that. Plays. I go by plays more than a lot of times. If they haven't had a rep on a play or needed it, made a miscue on one, that they'll get they'll get it. Uh, you know the next day. The running backs? Yeah. I think it's more more the throw game than a run game, you know, on that part, which we've worked hard on those guys, and they've got tape from the summer and all the things they did with the routes, and each guy's a little bit different in, in some of the things when you throw into the back and, and who's who. Same with the receivers. So um, I don't think anything with the handoffs or that, that has not been a problem. We've done a really good job of taking care of the ball in, in a run game That's so far. Well, we're just building depth, so he can play both. You know, he knows running back really well, so we got a couple guys nicked, and so we want to say there, there's a chance that you can help us out there, and so he's doing both. So one day he'll handle, you know, the running back, the next day he'll go to the R and some of the different periods that way. And a great kid, it's, it's really kind of a, you know, he wants to play. And then we, what we, as I said, you're trying to build depth. No, it's been really good till today, but you know we hadn't really thrown a pick six and how you handle that and come back and you know um, you know which we didn't do we weren't too bad we went to another series but uh, 
you know, it's just kind of, you've just, it's an, it just evolves as it goes. It takes time. You know, it takes time with the things in the system. But this week, these three days, we put a lot of new stuff in, so they get a chance to see it, and we'll go back over it, uh, you know, on the weekend. Hey, uh, this is a broad question. You yeah. You know a lot about it. What, what makes a good two-man drill? Like, what, like, the rest of struggle a little bit with that part of your rival. What, what do you feel like makes a good one that's consistently good in that season? Well, practice. People got to know what they're doing, you know, and, and understand what the defense is giving you. Take it what they're going to give you. You know, I think we've done a really pretty good job with it. Today was a before the half, which we hadn't run, and just trying to get a kickoff. You know, if you, if you don't get a good first play, a lot of time before the half, you're going to back off somewhat that way. Um, you know, knowing when to get out of bounds. Certain plays we have that are designed to get, get the ball out of bounds. You know, working, you know, some of the, some of the management things with the terminology and when you're going to clock it at what time and things that way. So, yeah, we've done it uh, probably today was like the fourth day. We did it probably six times in the spring. So, and each quarterback gets a gets a rep of it. What, what, when a quarterback's really good at that, what, what, are they, what are they good at doing in that? Moment? Complete passes. You know, complete passes. And guys know and understanding. We've been done a lot of situational things. Not only that, third down, the guys understand, hey, the running back's got to know it's third and two. They got to know it's third and three. All right, understand, hey, we want to get the first and you want to try to break the run. All right, so that part. Same with the receivers on third and eight. You don't really adjust the routes as much, but it's just knowing where it is and what time it is. Hand in the ball to the official on two minute or anything like that. So all the things we kind of prep them with. You had, a, I think, an interview with the radio. Um, and you had mentioned that you thought Chubba was more of a talent than anything. I think you said it was the Bucks, uh, that you know, was in yeah, no, he can he can run, and he's he's a little bit bigger, and he's he doesn't have the experience Cates has. He can throw it. He's gotten a lot better. I keep forgetting. I told him this yesterday. I forgot. He, I keep forgetting they only had five practices in the spring, you know. And he's now he's getting a lot. Of, and a lot of those were against the twos. It's different when he go from against the twos and he going against our one defense. So that's really helped him. So I seen him take a, a big jump that way. And same with Casey, but Chavo more because he didn't have that many reps in spring. What's that? Teddy from Austin coming back, you know, after the Yeah, he's been really good. He's gotten, he's gotten better every day. You know, he's gotten better, you know. Uh, he got some work in the summer with some, some team stuff that way that the guys did on their own. It helped them, you know, when you hear the play and then you got to go ahead and execute it. But he's, he's had a really good camp. Well, today, right now, we got a few of them down uh, health-wise. So, no, we haven't, you know, we'll play. I'd like to play three. You know, that's kind of what we did the last couple of years at Pittsburgh where, you know, but, you know, it's a long season. Big Ten's physical conference, so want to get them all worked that way. But we're running through all of them. But I thought they had a really good scrimmage last last weekend and uh, have done, done a lot of good things. Yeah, I mean, he's a good football player, you know. Made a big catch of Michigan running down the sideline and I think in the fourth quarter on a wheel route, just some of the things that way. We worked him a lot in the summer with the quarterbacks to catch a route. So just being versatile, kind of like what we did with when I was with Philly, had Brian Westbrook who was a really good pass receiver, you know, and, uh, you know, we can play him. We know we can know those running back. It's just, again, building depth and a receiving core. All good? Good. All right, great.